Uh, I'm Deborah Pearson and I am a writer and an artist and I work across several disciplines. I make some work that is presented in visual art spaces, I make some work that's presented in theaters, um, and I make some work even sometimes that's presented in cinemas or film festivals. So the project that I'm presenting here is called the Queen West Project. It's a project I made in 2012. It was a collaboration with a choreographer named Alison Cummings, and it was an immersive dance piece that happened on the streets of Toronto in a sort of rapidly gentrifying neighborhood called Queen West. What was kind of unique about Queen West was that this entire neighborhood was built around the oldest mental health facility in Canada, which used to be called the Lunatic Asylum and was now called CAMH, the Center for Addiction and Mental Health. Um, and the piece that we made was very much about destigmatizing mental health and also talking about the huge incidence of homelessness that was in that neighborhood, particularly actually as a result of cuts to that, uh, to that mental health facility. Uh, so it was a piece where audience members would walk down the street on Queen West and they didn't know what they were doing at first. They thought that maybe they were just going on a walking, an audio walking tour alone. And then they would end up at the entrance to Cam H, which they didn't know that they were going to be going to in the piece. And they would see a dancer who would start dancing to music that they could hear on the headphones. And they would follow that dancer into the grounds of Cam H, and the, and the piece would be, become very much about kind of destigmatizing mental health and discussing what it means to have this uh, mental health facility in the center of this really capitalistic, gentrifying neighborhood. Uh, and then two dancers and two audience members would meet up and there would be a duet. And then at the end, six audience members and six dancers would all meet up in a community garden that was tended by, that was looked after by the patients of the mental health facility. So that's what I'm talking about today. It was, the piece was made in collaboration with Street Youth from Avis Phoenix, which was, um, uh, a home for street youth nearby. And it was also made in collaboration with someone who'd been a resident of CAMH in the 1990s. Um, and with the, the choreographer, of course, 